So questions I got asked a lot are how I record my tutorials and also how I edit my tutorials. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how I record my tutorials and edit them in three simple steps. Let's get started. So the first step is to get access to a screen recording software. If you're using a MacBook or iMac, it comes with a screen recording system. All you have to do is press Shift, Command and 5 and select the area you want to screen capture. But it has limitations, such as you having access to recording drawing tools and also with the Keza effect. If you're using Windows PC, this applies to Mac users as well. There are so many screen recording softwares out there that you can choose from. In this very video, I'm going to use a screen recording software that I've been using called Demo Creator from Wondershare. It's the best so far I've used and it's easy to understand with the extra tools that it comes with it. On this stage, you can now open the screen recording software that you're planning to use. For those who are planning to download Demo Creator, when you go to Demo Creator webpage, you can download it for free or purchase it. But I would recommend you trying it for free first before making the decision. And it works both on Windows and Mac OS. So this is the home page where you can find new recording and video editor buttons. Below that, you can see schedule recording where you can schedule all your recordings ahead and also with video presentations that if you want to record a video presentation, add in PowerPoint, photos, videos, and live streaming. On the left, when you click on the preferences, you can choose where you want to export the video after screen recording it. Just click on browse and it's going to open the folders and then you can select a folder you want to save it in. I'm going to cancel this. Then click on home. Preparation is the key. It makes you go through the recording stage with confidence. If you are recording the whole screen, you can clear the desktop or any unnecessary applications to avoid distractions during recording or place them in one folder on the desktop. Always check your audio and video settings. Make sure your webcam, your camera, and also your audio are working properly. I always record my audio and video separately. This side is really important. Practice more. Go through it one or two times so it will be easy when you start recording that very video. For those who are planning to download Demo Creator, now just click on new recording and it's going to bring this window out. So these very four arrows, you can just move them to move the screen capture anywhere you want to move it to. So this, if I want to select only this side, I can use this to move it easily on the screen. So now on zone capture, you can put in a custom settings on this side, or you can just click on this custom zone. And over there, it already have a preset that you can select from. So in, for instance, if you want 4K, you can click on that. Or if you want 2K, you can just click on that. Then you can move it to that very side. Also, you, when you scroll down, it comes with all these social media settings. So let's say Instagram or TikTok format. When you click on that, it's going to give you that Instagram format to screen record your videos. Then when you go to system audio, you can select the speakers that you are using. With this, I'm using my iMac. So I'm just going to select default system audio. Then when you go to microphone, you can select, I've connected my iPhone to my iMac so I can select the iPhone if I want to use that. Or if I have external microphone that I want to use, I can use that. And with this, I'm just going to select built-in microphone. And usually I use a live mark that's from Dashcam. You can see it on this very side on the top. That's the one I use for clean audio all the time. And then I have one fixed on the camera that's going to be a backup audio in case this very audio fails me. Then when you go to this side, that's where the webcam is. So when you look at it, I'm using the one that comes with my iMac. It's really terrible. But then when you click on it and you want to use your phone that's connected to your computer, when I click on that, you can see this is my phone and my phone is right across on this very side and it comes on this very side too. But usually I use my camera, I'm using Panasonic GH5 to record my video files because I want it to be clean and in 4K. And also with this, when you look down here, you can just select a shape that you want it to look like. So let me click on circle. It's already going to create this circle shape that you can use and place at the corner of your 
tutorial videos or then rectangle that was the previous one then this very ai feature when you click on that look at it it's going to cut out your background so mostly make sure your background and what you are wearing have a good contrast different contrast between them so it will be nice and clean so then also when you want to use this mirror it's just going to flip your image to the other side let me just click and come back to the normal size and then i'm just going to select the rectangle shape or i'll just go for this very shape and take the ai off so it will look like this so this is this record button that we're going to use later on then when you go to the top here let me move this when you go to the top here when you click on the settings it's going to take you to some settings that you can change on this very side if you don't want the three second countdown that's going to come on i'll show you guys when you are screen recording you can just take this boss and it's going to go off and also if you're recording and you want to hide the recording panel i'll show you guys it comes at the top if you don't want it to show you can just hide them when you go to file you can choose where you want to save it then when you go to video you can choose the frame rate i go for 24 frames per second because i'm shooting with 24 frames on my camera too quality i go for high then when you click here you can see some shortcut keys that it comes with it so then when you're happy you can just click on save settings and it's going to save the settings and now the recording scheme the first one that's the export express that's when if you just want the screen recording without using the video editor that comes with demo creator and the second option that's edit recordings that's when after screen recording you want to use the video editor that comes with it it's going to take you directly to the video editing software so with this first example i'm going to choose the top one that's only screen recording and then i'm just going to click on record and it's going to start with the countdown let me open one website and use it to show you guys so this is the control bar at the top with all the tools that you'll be needing when recording your screen so with this you can just move them around anywhere you want to place it and also when you close on this very sign it's going to hide it now let me walk you guys through the controls that comes with it so the first one is the Kesa tool that's the one you use to move things around on the screen and always make sure you click on the Kesa after clicking on one of these very tools at, over here next to it is the pen tool let me click on that and show you guys you can see it comes with this so if i want a big size i can click on this if i want a small i can just click on that then i can choose the color i want to use with this i think i'm going to go for blue and now i can just draw a random circles on this side so you can see if i want to circle this i can just circle it if you made a mistake and you want to clean it up you can just click on this eraser tool then just click on that very thing that you want to erase and it's going to take it off and as i said earlier on if you want to use something or if you want to click on the screen itself make sure you click on the Kesa tool then you can easily select whatever the screen you are recording now the next is the highlight tool just click on that select the color you want to use so if i want to highlight this very thing i can just draw it and it's going to give me that highlight feature next is the test click on that select the size you want to and also the test color now click anywhere on the screen that you are recording and then you can just write in your test so the next is the circle shape when you click on that exactly how we did it earlier on select the tool and then you can draw a circle shape around whatever you want to highlight and next to it is the rectangle tool it works just like what we did with the circle and next to it the arrow tool that's my favorite among these very tools when you click on that and select the color you want to use if i want to point at this i can just draw an arrow and it's going to point exactly to wherever i want to show you guys on the screen now i'm just going to click on the eraser tool and click this once and next to it is the spotlight tool just click on that and when you click it's going to darken around wherever you are clicking and it will make it easier for your viewers to see exactly what you are trying to talk about and also next to it is the whiteboard this really comes handy when you're doing a course so with this let's say if i want to illustrate something or draw something for you guys to understand what i'm trying to talk about i can just click on the white and then click on one of the pen tool select the color 
and then I can just draw whatever I'm trying to talk about. I'm really terrible when it comes to drawing. Later, if you're done, you can just click it and it's gonna go off and make sure you click on the Kesa tool so you can activate on the screen. Then when you go to this side, that's the Kesa effect tools that it comes with it. When you click on that, let's say if I wanna select this very gray color, and then when I move my Kesa, you can see it shows on the Kesa, around the Kesa, what I'm trying to show on the screen. And also next to it, it comes with this cool effect that you can use on the Kesa itself. So when you click on that, and I click this very effect, and then look at it on the screen, when I click, it gives this very cool, unique. So if you wanna pause the recording and go do something else and later continue, you can just click on that and it's gonna pause your recording. And later you can click and it's gonna continue recording. Also with this, if you wanna delete everything and re-record it, you can just click on this very tool. And this is where you can stop the recording and save it. And now one thing about this FaceTime camera, let me just move it on this side. So mostly uh, you can just place it here and it's gonna be baked in with that when you're recording. But since I'm using a camera that I'm recording directly on, I usually hide it from there so it doesn't show on the screen recording that I'm using. So I can later on use the one that comes with my camera. So now when you're done with everything, you can just click on this very stop button and it's gonna stop recording. And then it's gonna give you this preview window. Let me hide this for now. So on this stage, if you're using the free version, you cannot export this very video, but then I'll show you another option that you can use when you're using the free version. So if you're using the paid one, you can just click on export and save where you wanna save it and then click on export express and it's gonna save the video file. So the third step is editing your videos and I'm gonna use the video editor that comes with Demo Creator. So if you wanna use the video editor that comes with Demo Creator, we're gonna select the second one under the recording scheme. And this version, when you're using a free version, you can use this very one too. So I'm just gonna record something fast and show you guys with this. So with the webcam, you can see I'm using my iPhone. When it takes you to the video editor, it's gonna record separate files that's your audio, webcam, and the screen recording. So I will advise you, just move it away from wherever you are screen recording. So later on, you can do it on post and add it. Everything's gonna be simple, I'll show you guys. So now let me just do a random recording. So now I'm done with recording, I'm just gonna click stop recording and it's gonna take me directly to the video editing software. So now we are inside the video editing software, it comes with Demo Creator. So when you look at it, you can see it records audio separately and also your webcam and your screen recording. That was why I was saying you should drag your webcam on the other side so you can easily place it. So when I go forward, then when I click on this very webcam using the on screen to this very side, so you can see we can easily place it and move around. Now let me just take it back here and show you guys one thing. On this side, you can see it was placed this side. So this one is gonna come in baked in. That's why it's advisable to move it away. Then later on, you can just use the files that it records separately and place it anywhere on the screen that you want to use. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the video editing software and I'll be a bit fast on this side. So just like any video editing software, this side is gonna be your media, when you click on the library where you can place all your videos and pictures and PNG. Then on this side, it's gonna be your preview section where you can preview the video. Then on the right side, that's where your parameters are gonna be. That's your transform, position, composition. If you wanna change any settings on this very side. Then down here, that's our main timeline. Wherever you wanna edit, you just drag and drop it in your timeline. So now let me walk you guys through some features it comes with this video editing software. When you click on effects, then click on pan zoom. If you wanna add some zoom in and out and also pan left and right, let me just drag and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna drag it on this very side and stretch it. And then let me play and show you guys. I would advise you to just drag it outside of the screen recording in case you want to so you can see it's zooming in slowly so if you want it to be fast you can just drag it closer to the starting point and it's going to so move pretty fast just drag it outside of the screen recording in case you want to 
outside of this. Then when you go to advanced, so let's say if I want AI to remove the background of this very webcam video, I'm just gonna drag and drop on this very webcam and you can see it takes it off on this very side. Now let me just take it off and delete that. Or if you wanna blur your background, you can just drag and drop it on the webcam and it's gonna blur when you look carefully, it's gonna blur the background. Then when you go to Keza, so let's say if I want the Keza to have a spotlight or if I want it to have a highlight, I can just drag and drop it on this very file. So then when I move forward, you can see now the Keza is having this very highlight color. So if you don't want the color, you can easily change on this very side too. Now let's go to transitions. They come with some cool transitions that you can add. So let's say if I wanna add some transitions to my videos, let me take it here and show you guys. Click on this very video file and then we can click on the split tool. Or you can also press S and it's gonna cut on that very side. So then I can just drag and drop it in between the two videos. And then when I play and show you guys how it looks like. So it adds some cool transitions to that. So then you can scroll through and it comes with a lot of them over here that you can be using for your videos. Now click on captions. It comes with auto captions tools. You can just click on auto caption and then click on start to recognize. And the funny thing is it comes with the English from Ghana and I'm from Ghana so I select English Ghana but you can select the language that you want to use and then click on OK. So when it's ready you can see it has these captions that's the one on this side. So when you want to make some corrections you can just click on that and do it on the right side. Then on the style tool you can change the color of the test and also the background color that it comes with. Then when you go to stickers, they have some stickers that it comes with, you can add to your videos. And also some filters, if you wanna add some look to your videos or your webcam, you can select one from here. All you have to do is click on it for it to download and then you just drag and drop on that very webcam file. So when you look at it, it changes it a little bit. Now, if you wanna dial it down, you can just dial it down on this very side. Then when you go to audio, it comes with some sound effects that you can choose from this side and use it in your videos. So now let's go to the editing part. So when you're editing, let's say if you have a dead space where you wanna cut off, you can just take your playhead to that very side, select all the files, then you can select the split tool or then you can press S and it's gonna make a cut there. So let's say if the dead space was up to this side, I'm gonna take my playhead there, just like we did earlier on S to make a split on this side. Then I'll just select these ones, delete them, then select all these ones and move it closer to these very ones. So you just cut off the dead space. So with this, you just walk through all of them and cut all the dead space in the video. So when you're happy with the edit and everything you've done in the video, then you can just go to export, click on that. And on this side, I'm gonna save it on my PC. And I'm gonna select MP4. Most of the social media support MP4. And then you can change the name on this side. Choose where you wanna save it and then select export and it's gonna export your video. If you're using a free version, it's gonna come with a watermark. Now, if you wanna try your hands on Demo Creator, you can click on the link in the description box below. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.